Rewind. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special video. <laughs> I have already washed my face. So it's nice and clean. It's smooth. I use the, the Skintelligent Cleanser, which moves me into what this video is about. This video is going to be all about Merle Norman products. I have a bunch of Merle Norman products that I just literally went and got like five minutes ago. <laughs> and I will be sharing them with y'all. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I have a little discount for you. <coughs> so tune to the end of the video and you will get a great deal. Okay, so, um, also, I'm going to be showing you these products, and then at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to have the prices of the products also. I got you. So, today we're going to, I haven't moisturized or anything, so we're going to start off with the Skintelligent Moisturizer. Looks like this. It is free of fragrance, oil, and parabens. So, let's put this all over our face. And it looks like this. Whoa. Okay. And I do use this, actually. This is not a first impression. Like, I've actually used this. I used this multiple times. I usually use it at night. So, we're going to put that. It's very silky, very smooth. It's really nice on the skin. This is the 24 karat gold firming foundation primer. And it has little um, things of gold in it. Flakes of gold. It's really nice. I'm going to put this. See. Put this on my face. And your primer is supposed to make your face tacky so this foundation sticks better. And this makes it tacky as well. I have the Aqua Balance Makeup in L10. My nails look disgusting. Weightless liquid foundation that provides a semi matte finish with medium coverage, controls oil, and moisturizes where needed. Ideal for combination skin. Okay. Looks like this. Okay. I don't know if this is my shade or not. It does provide good coverage. I think it was a good color as well. Let's put some more. I think it has pretty good coverage for the medium. Don't forget to blend down your neck. It's the worst mistake you can make is not blend it down your neck. I want to take this beauty blender and this, I'm going to spray it. I am going to ever so lightly get the lines out of my face. This looks very nice. Merle Norman Cover Up Concealer in the shade Light and Light. And this, I need my mirror. Let's see. I 
gonna take my sponge with it a little bit and blend that more. Wow, look at the difference. Like, look how much it brightened up. Like, you can still see my ugly circles over here. Gross. So, let's do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, my woman, I see you. I see you. Mm. Cheek crayon and pink lotus. And I think I'm going to take some on the back of my beauty blender. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to dab it on my cheeks. It looks really nice. Oh, I think I put too much. <laughs> Purely mineral makeup. And this is in L10. And it's like... It's like a mineral powder. I don't know. But before I do that, actually... I want to go into this contour and highlight duo. Oh, it comes with a book. Ah! And I want to take this. It looks like this. And it's just the highlight sculpt. Highlight. Anyway. And I'm going to take this lighter shade. And I'm going to get this setting brush this is the real techniques setting brush it looks like this and there is a little bit of creasing there is a little bit of creasing so i'm gonna go in blend that out and i'm gonna take this little brush and i'm gonna dip it into this lighter shade and I'm going to set my under eyes with this. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics 3 brush. It's just a fluffy brush. And I'm going to tap some of this into the top. This also has little shimmers in it. So you don't look matte. This also adds covered. It's a it's basically a powder foundation. So if you don't want to use foundation, you can just use this as a foundation because it's a powder foundation that has that coverage. That looks beautiful. I look flawless. This is looking amazing. After putting that powder, powder, <laughs> after putting that powder foundation over it, it kind of took the blush away, but it's still kind of there. I guess noticeable. So I'm going to leave that there, just like that. I'm not adding or taking away nothing. I'm going to use this brown shade. And I'm going to do the, what's it called? Contour. Ooh. That's very pretty. It goes well with my skin. So, so far, this is what it looks like. Very beautiful. Very, it's almost natural looking, but it's beautiful. 
I'm going to take my powder brush and go over my nose a little bit. We don't want those harsh lines, honey. It is the Morphe M158 Dual Ended Eyeliner, Eyebrow, whatever brush. And I'm just going to brush through the brows. And she gave me some natural brow wax and not that. And natural brow powder in light brown. So supposedly you put on the wax and then it's supposed to do something to your eyebrows. So let's get a little bit of wax in here. It's probably too much. And run that through the brows. I'm now going to take my brow powder. And I'm going to take this out of the brush. Angle brush. And I'm going to dip it into the powder. And I'm going to create my eyebrows. So. Supposedly the wax like makes it stick or something. I don't know. There is also what are these called? Eyebrow pencils. There's also eyebrow pencils that you could use. Also with the foundations, there's multiple foundations, multiple shades. So Whatever your skin type is, she can definitely find your kind, your, your foundation. It almost makes it like a pomade. Instead of just powder, which I like that because I'm not good with pomades. I'm going to go with the Knockout Nudes 2 like this and on the back it tells you <laughs> it tells you all the shade names and stuff there is a brush that comes with this as well but I don't know where I put it hmm it's a dual ended brush but these are the shades and today I think I'm going to white shade first which is cloud and i'm going to put that all over my lid go pinks so i'm going to go in with misty rose which is this one and i'm going to take my elf blending brush it looks like this and I'm going to put that in my crease. As you can see, they're very pigmented. She also has um, single eyeshadows. So if you don't want a whole palette, you can just buy the singles. I don't know if she has the singles of this palette, but she has other single shadows. I'm going to darken it up just a little tiny bit with Mahogany, which is this one. And I'm going to take this brush right here, the Blending Eye Brush by e.l.f. My finger, it was crazy. I got makeup all over it. And I'm just going to very lightly tap into that because I don't want it like crazy dark, but I just want a little bit. And I'm going to tap that on the outer. Okay. I'm going to put this shadow stick in Fortune right where I'm supposed to put that color. Now that I have that on my lid, I'm going to go 
back with the silver champagne. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Almost like a plum berry something. I'm gonna take the purple dark shade and run it under my waterline. The shadow sticks make the shadows stay better. They make them more pigmented and you can add shadows on top of that to make it even more brighter. So that's what I did here. And I used this palette. I'm gonna take this Cheek Crayon in Radiant. And I'm gonna get some on my fingers and then go like that. Anything cream with the warmth of your finger, it um works better. That looks really pretty. It's very natural. All this stuff is very natural. The only thing that's not natural is my eyes. But we're gonna continue the face. Oh, Okay, I'm not doing eyeliner or nothing like that because eyeliner is not for me. This is the Fat Lash Mascara from Merle Norman in black. This is what the brush looks like. I'm gonna spray this Expert Touch Finishing Spray. This is the Setting Spray. I got it in my eye, and I got it under my eye. Ooh, it smells very nice. Lips. I got. I picked up this, it's new. It's the Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in Wisp. And it looks like this. This little color at the bottom. And that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna use that today. I just bought it because it was very, very pretty. And then I picked up this lip pencil in Mud Pie. This is the lip pencil in Mud Pie. And I'm going to line my lips. Then I do good. Mm hmm. Okay, that's the lip liner. So it looks like a a brown looking color. I don't know. And I'm gonna go in with the Age Defined Lip Color in Rich Raisin. And it looks like this, like a brown. I think the lip liner is a little wonky. A little wonky. This is the final makeup look with all Merle Norman products. I'll give you a little look. There's your little look. Um, so, actually, and I'm not just saying this because, like, it's more Norman and it's, like, my friend. I'm saying this because I really enjoyed every single product. Um, I think it looks amazing. Everything blends well. Everything goes on well. Yes, everything just, it just looks, like, flawless. It looks beautiful. I mean, I might be biased, but I think it looks really good, really natural. The brows, loving the highlighter. There's not one thing I would complain about. Like, 
I genuinely love every single product. Um, now, I said that I would have a little something for y'all. So, at the Myrna Norman in Rockingham, you can go there and ask for Kelly. And if you go there, you can say Made in 10 and you can get 10% off of your purchase. And also, if you're not from around here, you can call Myrna Norman and I'll have a little thing right here of all the information. Um, you can call her and say you want to make an order and she will get everything you need. And you can also get free shipping. So you can say made in 10 over the phone and you can get 10% off and free shipping just by saying made in 10. And there's also uh, Facebook and Instagram at Merle Norman. Um, I think it's Merle Norman of Rockingham, if I'm correct. Um, but go check them out. She also has some videos um, showing some new products that came in. Um, so if you want 10% off and you want to try anything that I tried, just go to Myrna Norman and Rockingham and you can get 10% off with Made in 10. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.